It is Saturday, August 5th, 2023, and we're at Craftsman Bar and Grill in the Grand Californian Hotel. And on the left, we have the watermelon cucumber Collins, which is Tito's handmade vodka, watermelon juice, cucumber, watermelon syrup, and lime juice. And on the right, we have the tropical bungalow, which is Captain Morgan original spiced rum, Parrot Bay Rum, Myers Original Dark Rum, Florida Cana Rum, Passion Fruit Syrup, Pineapple and Orange Juice, Coconut Water, and it's garnished with Passion Fruit and Alexador Cherry. And boy, that was a mouthful. All right, both drinks are definitely well-themed for the summer. They're very refreshing. A uh, good mix can really taste everything including the alcohol maybe not quite as strong as I like it but um, you can definitely you definitely know that there's alcohol in both drinks and especially the uh, watermelon cucumber Collins that's like a perfect summer drink so rather happy with the drinks all right for our entrees we started with the hot dog of the month which is a Cuban dog which comes with mustard, pickles, pulled pork, and Swiss cheese, and we got it with their fries. Next is the flat iron steak salad, which is kale and romaine, avocado, cherry tomatoes, corn, yinkama, cilantro, crispy tortilla chips, toasted pepitas, Cajita, cotilla cheese with ranch dressing. Last is the Wagyu Gouda burger, which is American Wagyu patty, Gouda cheese, grilled red onions, lettuce, tomato, and preserved lemon aioli on a brioche bun. And I chose the seasonal fruit, which looks like cantaloupe, strawberries, watermelon, pineapple, and orange. All right, starting with the Cuban hot dog. I actually like that. Um, good amount of mustard, pickles, maybe a little light on the pulled pork, but the hot dog's very good. I like the bun. I like that it was toasted Cuban style. Probably the thing I don't like the most is that since the last time I was here, Craftsman Grill has changed their fries. They used to have these great steak fries, and these are more like strip fries. That's the best way I can describe them. And they're not very potatoey, and of course they lost their heat pretty rapidly, so that's kind of a bummer. As far as the Wagyu Gouda burger goes, uh, there was a good slice of gouda it was nice and thick it was on the bottom the burger was cooked to order which is medium rare i like the uh, lemon aioli and the brioche bun was really buttery and it's holding up against the aioli so it's not falling apart all the uh, fruit seems very fresh and flavorful and the last item is the flat iron steak salad all right for the most part there was a good amount of ingredients it could probably use a little bit more of the tomato and yakima uh, and probably a different cheese would probably work better cojita is more like a parmesan or something and it really doesn't stick out and it's kind of hard to get on a fork so maybe a shredded cheddar or something like that would be a better choice for this salad uh, rather than that, it's a really good salad. And as far as the steak goes, it again was cooked to order, and there's a good amount of it. All right, a few final thoughts. Number one, this is like one of the few sit-down places in the resort where you can actually get in on standby. Most of the places, if you don't have a reservation the day of, you are not going to get in. Uh, today's wait was about 25 minutes. Uh, Considering it's going to be about 90 degrees today, most of the shaded spot, it keeps you relatively cool. So you don't have to worry about overheating out in the sun. 
service is good. It's very friendly. Uh, kitchen's a little slow at times, but you know, you're at a resort, you're probably mostly on vacation, so you know, things are moving slow. I wouldn't come here if you had, if you were hard pressed to do something else within like an hour and a half of your time of being se seated because you might not make your next appointment. And that's about it for the review.